things we've been looking at quite a lot of recent years is the activity level of broiler chickens in our houses and how that changes over a 24 hour period. We've specifically seen that if they have a long sleep period over the night, say four to six hours of a constant dark period, we find that the birds are far more active when they first come out of that dark period and the level of activity tails off and is less as the day carries on. This means that by the afternoon the birds are maybe 10 to 20 percent less active than they were in the early hours of the morning. And really what we want to take from this is how do we design our chicken houses to understand and meet the requirements of these chickens. Do we design them for the high activity level of the early hours of the morning or do we design them for the average period in the day or maybe for the end of the day with less activity. And we're specifically looking at feeders, how many feeders, access to feed, drinkers, how many birds per nipple on the drinker lines, as well as lighting levels and other factors around the chicken management. So another thing that we've been looking at at Applied is how we design and build these new poultry houses that we're doing. And we've done a lot of work looking at sloping floors. Traditionally, houses within the UK and Europe were always built on a slope, generally from the back of the house to the front of the house. This allowed the washing people to come in when the birds were gone, wash the house with the water running to the doors and escaping from the house. The problem here is a sloping floor means the drinker lines have varying pressures. So you will find that at the regulator end of your drinker you may have 30 mil, 40 mil of water pressure and at the far end 140 mil, which means the nipples are giving off a different amount of water per minute at different places along that drinker line. What's far, far better in a precise world of broiler farming is if we slope the houses rolling into each other so they slope from left to right or right to left and are absolutely level from front to back. That means that the same flow rate of water is coming through every nipple down the whole length of that drinker line, which allows us to then manage that flow rate far more accurately and look after the bird better. So a real key area of broiler farming is how we manage the birds when we first place them into the house. And we always put a, a certain amount of food on the floor, maybe 50 to 60 grams per chick goes on the floor on some paper for them to eat before they transit into eating out of the feed pans. Probably gives them food for three, maybe into the fourth day. What we used to do was put brown food on a brown paper on a floor with cream or brown bedding with some yellow lights above it. And really it was suggested that this is probably quite difficult for the birds to see, particularly when you get into day two and day three and some bedding material is also mixed in. So what we've done recently is gone to a blue paper. So now we find brown food on a blue paper stands out much, much clearer for maybe into the fourth day. We waste less of it, so far more efficient because it's not being lost into the bedding. And we're seeing extra weight gains of the birds from three to five grams per chick at seven days of weight, which if we know one gram at day seven is nine grams at day 28, adding three to five grams at day seven is gonna be giving us 30 to 50 grams of extra weight gain when we kill those birds, purely by changing the colour of the paper. What you find is a really good person with animals is generally not really good with computers and equipment. It's a different type of person. So what we want is we want really good people with the animals looking after the animals and then we want experts helping with the technology. And the lesson I think that we've learnt in Europe is as time goes on it is more and more difficult to find a person that can do everything. Maybe an owner farmer can because he tries that a little bit more because it's his money, it's his farm. But what we find in the UK and Europe, the businesses have grown and they're employing farm managers and it's a very different thing when you start to employ staff and it's not your own farm. And so we want to use people that really love technology to get the most from the technology and leave the stockman looking after the stock. When you look at the computer industry, you look at the gaming industry, you look at how young people are interacting with, with gaming now, they want to feel part of it. They don't want to feel that the computer is separate from them, they want to be part of it. 
of it. And we're using that technology here at Apply Group to do the same thing in that you can have a helmet on where your complete visual surround, what you see all around you is your chicken house. You're not just looking at a computer screen seeing a little bit of it in front of you on a flat screen. You feel like you're in the house because that's everything you can see. And as you turn your head, the cameras are turning with you, which means that you feel just like you're in a house. You then also have some earphones on and you can hear the specific noise from that house. So you can see it, you can hear it. As you move your head, you can move the visual images. But also the new technologies now with electronic noses means that you have the potential to recreate the smells of that particular house as well. So if there is an issue with ammonia levels or if it just smells stuffy and needs more ventilation, you're smelling it. And what's really key is this is immersive technology. You are in it. You don't feel that the technology is separate to you, you feel like you really are in that chicken house. And that's really important for you to use all of your own senses as human to interact with the technology for the best welfare of the production of those birds.